Hello, my name is Dina, and today I'm going to discuss the effects of point mutations on DNA sequence. Let's begin. We need to find a four amino acid sequence, and in order to read our amino acid dictionary, let's change the T's to U's. Pause the video now and try it. Hopefully your sequence looks like this. Now let's look for the sequence by reading the top strand from left to right. Here is our starting codon. Now let's find the stop codon. UGG gives us W, let's keep going. AUU gives us I, let's keep looking. ACU gives us T, let's keep reading. And UGC gives us C, so let's keep coding. And here's our stop codon. This amino acid is five acids long and we are looking for a four acid sequence, so let's keep looking. Now let's read the top strand from right to left. Pause the video and search for the start code on AUG. So there is no AUG sequence. So let's go to the bottom strand and read it from right to left. Here is our start codon. So now pause the video and find the rest of the codons. Hopefully you got the same codon sequence. Now let's look at some important terms of point mutation. There is two types of point muta mutation, transition and transversion. Transition is a base change from purine to purine or pyramidal to pyramidal, and here are some examples. Transversion is a base change from purine to pyramidal or from pyramidal to purine. And again, here are some examples. Now let's look at the effects of point mutation. There is missense, nonsense, silent, and read through. Missense is when a base change changes the amino acid within a sequence. Nonsense is when a codon changes to a stop codon. Silent is when a base codes for the same amino acid. And read through is when a stop codon is changed to a codon that codes for an amino acid, making the protein longer. So now let's take a look at some examples. The top strand is the wild type and the bottom strand is mutated. So pause the video and read through the strands to find the difference. Hopefully you found the difference here. Since this is going from purine to pyramidal, this is a transversion. Now let's take a look at the coding difference. This base, code, this base change changes the amino acid, so this is a missense point mutation. Here is another example. Now pause the video and see if you can work through this problem. Hopefully you found that the A purine base changed to the U pyramidal base, making this a transversion. And since it changed the amino acid to a stop codon, it's a nonsense point mutation. Now pause the video and see if you can work through example number three. Hopefully you got this point mutation correct. Since it had a pyramidal to pyramidal base change, it is a transition, and since it changed the stop codon to an amino acid, it's a read-through point mutation. Now pause the video and work through our last problem. Since this was a purine to purine base change, we can see that it's a transition mutation. Even though its coding is different, the amino acid doesn't change. So this is a silent point mutation. Hopefully you got that right. And here are my references.